Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I just received my brand new motocross bike. This is the Suron Stormby and what an absolute beast of a machine this is. This fully electric motocross slash enduro bike is the Stormby from Suron and it has a top speed of 110 kilometers an hour with a 0 to 80 kilometers an hour acceleration in 3.9 seconds. Its maximum output power is 22.5 kilowatts. It has an aluminium alloy forged frame. It's got eco, rain and sport plus turbo mode and the maximum torque to the rear wheel is 520 newton meters it's ridiculous this bike is also road legal so in the next few weeks i'll get it registered and i'll be able to cruise around wherever i want but it's cool listening about it but let's give this thing its first test in this cool woods here filled of little tracks come on here we go ready for the first ride so we're turning it on There we go, that is the bike on, so cool. I love E-powered things, total silence. And then you just tap both the brakes like that. It says it's ready on the dash here. Then off we go. I'm gonna ride it in eco for a bit first, get used to it. And then we'll go through the power modes throughout the day. Here we go, three, two, one, drop him. <laughs> That is actually incredible. That's just in eco mode as well. I love the standover height of the bike. So you can actually get your feet down and the enduro styling and positioning means these tight corners here, you can really get in up the front and proper dig in and oh, that's amazing. It's so funny still to not have noise on a motorbike. So you can just hear yourself breathing and like the tires gripping in on the floor. But this is amazing, like perfect ground here. That's sick. I think it's time to see what this sport mode's all about then. We now switched over to a different side of the woods and we're gonna put it into sport mode now. So this is more power. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's smash a lap on this trail and see what it's like. Three, two, one, drop him. <laughs> wow. It's unbelievably powerful. Here we go, ball up on this sick bike, let's get it.
is incredible. Sport mode's amazing. It feels so good. Like it is 120 kilograms, so I think it's about the same weight as a 450. But without all the noise, the vibration, and having the brakes up on the handlebars here, because the back brake is up here as opposed to down there, it just feels so light. And it's mostly about the confidence I'm getting out of it. I think it's just because it's not terrifying you of all the noise. I know like purists would love the noise and the smell but this is so cool you can just go in the woods no one gets annoyed and ride proper moto enduro stuff there's a big log there actually should we see if we can get over it like bloop. here we go then easy let's try and go back over it oh yeah well good this is sick oh whoa we've now come out into the open air here because i want to see if i can get this thing wheeling should be quite easy with the back brake on the finger there oh it's made for it that is that is well good a little more scary than the small sauron the light b but Yeah, that's so cool. It's kind of scary because it picks up speed so fast. There we go. Dreams. That is so sick. Right, there's actually a little track here, isn't there? An outdoor one. Let me blast a little lap of that. Super tight berms here. Showing how well you can manoeuvre this thing. So nice with the back brake on the finger. section oh <laughs> I actually was so excited when I left I didn't move my levers in I kind of I need to push them across because I want to hold right on the end so my hands are like off the bar but that's oh my god I'm so happy with this There's a cool, super sandy berm there. I think we can get a nice slow-mo, like firing dirt up and stuff. Let's try that. We've now just noticed there's a perfect tabletop here. Well perfect you come in there super tight run up cut across some ruts and you can land down there near all that litter that some scatter then you can land down there on that bit of landing there so let's see if we can make it on this beast into the sun ah oh, so close it's such a super crossy gap it's quite long and there's no run up Yes, that was quite sick actually. Let me see that a sec. Okay, it wasn't exactly perfect. Let me try again. Get fully into that land and then we'll get a slow-mo verge. Yes, that was nice, wasn't it? I think you can't not case that because it's like a sort of rolled landing. Let's get that in slow-mo then. Ow. 
that was such a fun session we've been blasting around here for ages i've only got 15 percent now i did notice when i was in full power uh, in the sport mode here that obviously the power drains a bit quicker because i was like flat out everywhere but the eco mode's actually way enough to bomb around in the woods there it was still surprisingly fast that is such a fun machine i love it i'm actually really excited till i get my number plate and then i can just cruise around on the roads on it it's going to be well cool to see i'm actually just really excited to see how far i can go on it and that means if i go on little like missions to the shop you can just bomb off cross fields through woods don't annoy anyone absolutely epic so stoked on this thank you very much sir on there's going to be a lot more fun action coming from this beautiful bike in the future if there's any cool spots you want me to ride or things you want me to go against i was thinking i'd do like a head to head with my motocross bike and this on a track just to see which one's quicker but on that bombshell of absolute fun excitement my new motorbike and dirt and sun that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it that'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe see you in the next one <laughs>